As a child, I was taught the importance of our relations between all living and breathing. As Earth surface people, we are the caretakers of Mother Earth, emerging from within and between the four sacred mountains. My grandparents tell me that the Creator arranged this holy altar for our people and all creation to exist in balance and in harmony. I was taught that Mother Earth and Father Sky are my relatives and that all seasons and elements are alive. They say that the universe stays in balance as long as we continue the caretaking of the sacred altar and maintain our relationship with the holy people. Before leaving the previous world, we came up to ask permission from the great spirit Masao if we could live here with him because the world down below had become corrupted. He told the people, it is up to you if you are willing to live with full respect for my way of life. We said, yes, we are willing to live your way. So with his consent, we came here into this new world. This world is where the great spirit Masao first appeared to all first people and gave us instructions and rules to follow. Since all is connected, one living source uprooted and disrupted will have a ripple effect on the order and the balance of the universe. Our sacred teachings have been disrupted by the reality that we see as a result of the history of colonialism and destruction by the invading colonists. The clash of culture, the imposition of U.S. foreign policies leave us in slavery and in captivity. The U.S. government worships money and power. Puppet tribal governments were created by the U.S. in order to sign leases with oil and coal corporations. We had no concept of these U.S. laws that created control and ownership of our rivers, waters, air, and elements beneath and above the earth. The U.S. has put a price tag on everything. Nothing is sacred. Everything is commodified. But life has no monetary value. I discovered that a person can or will die of loneliness if he or she is removed from his or her land. After I relocated, I kept dreaming of walking along the land that I left. This haunted me continually. Thus, I came to realize the same land that I left was grieving me to death. In our traditional tongue, there is no word for relocation. To relocate is to move away and disappear. A few miles away, Peabody began their mining operations, digging deep within Mother Earth, blasting with dynamite and draining our precious water, which is the blood of our Mother Earth. No one knew. There were no formal meetings with local residents. Peabody had occupied our homelands and is committing some of the worst human rights violations imaginable. Peabody's operations use a one-of-a-kind coal transportation system taking in pristine water from Denan Hopi communities. Today, springs have gone dry where they once flourished. Land is cracking and sinking. Black Mesa is a female mountain that is bordered by the four sacred mountains. The spiritual center within is a sacred site. Our prophecies say it will have a special purpose in the future for mankind to survive and now should be left in its natural state. All nations must protect the spiritual center. Our story is the story of all mankind. Our struggle to maintain our identity and culture despite the attempts from the dominant culture to control and determine our path as people is also your story. We seek to inspire hope by showing our commitment to resisting corporate globalization and the continued environmental degradation by Peabody Coal Company and other corporations and governments who seek to extract and exploit our land and cultures without hesitancy. For the continued health of our sacred homelands, whom we refer to as our mother, we share with you our story.